Hi guys. Okay, so how to pass and get an A in A and P. It's simple. Study. You have to study. You have to breathe it, think it, do it. Everything is going to be surrounded by this class your whole entire life. Um, if you have other responsibilities like family, if you have a full-time job, I suggest that you do not take on a extra classes because A and P and the lab, those are very heavy classes all by itself. So if you can, just probably just take those two alone and maybe another class, but don't kill yourself and take like, you know, four classes because if you do have other responsibilities, your grades are going to st suffer because you really do have to study. It's a lot of concepts, it's a lot of terminology, it's the sciences. The, the words are very hard to remember because they're very long and it's just a lot of information and you have to do your own research and do you know just to get the backstory about what some of the concepts are so that you can understand it if you're like me I have to get an understanding in everything if I don't know a word I need to know what that word is and why it's important and blah 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 or else I'm not going to understand so you really do have to study you have to put time into it because if you don't then the information is just going to go over your head because the 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 concepts and everything they all piggyback off of each other so if you go to chapter 17, chapter 18 is going to be based on chapter 17 and all the other chapters back up into chapter 1. Everything connects. So you have to get an understanding from the very beginning. So if you're an A and P1, you really do have to grasp those concepts because if you go to A and P2, you're going to have a tough time. Uh, another thing that helped me get an A in A and P1 that I'm doing now for A and P2 is I'm rewriting the concepts in my own words and according to my own understanding. Because if I don't, I'm not going to understand. That helps me to understand it more, better. And um, just like um, I did today, the blood typing. Blood typing to me <laughs> from the textbook point of view it's very confusing i did my own blood typing you know a b type has a and b antigens a b right antibodies it has no antibodies the recipient all blood types a b and o and a b can receive the blood because it has no antibodies it's not against any other blood see this is how i have to remember it and and an a and b can only give blood to another a and b but it can receive blood from other people okay and the same thing with b a b type it has b antigens and a b type has a antibodies against antibodies so the b blood type will only you can only, the recipients of a B blood type is what? B and O because it's against A. You know, so I have to drill myself like that because if I don't, I'm not going to understand and I'm going to fail that test. So I have to rewrite it in my own words and use my own personal terminology so that I can understand it. And I suggested you the same because if you do, I got an A and A and P1 and that's how I did it. I rewrote things according to my understanding. Another thing is if you have an assignment like mastering a &P, depending on what textbook you're using, do your assignments and do not wait to the last minute. If you wait to the last minute, then you're going to be so uh, backed up with assignment and work and you're going to be so stressed out, you know, that everything is going to be mumble jumble in your brain. So you want to do it early and then review review and study and review and study that is how you're going to pass the test that is how you're going to pass the class the same with lab you have to really get those terminologies and you have to get those definitions it's mainly a lot of definitions you have to understand them and know them and what connects with what and you have to practice those powerpoint slides in lab you have to go over it and over it and really drill yourself it is very time consuming that's why i say do not pal on other classes because i've seen it over and over again just like in a and p1 people are now dropping out of a and p2 because they cannot handle the workload they they're taking like five classes 
You know, I mean, you know, you don't spend your money to fail. You spend your money so that you can learn and also pass the class, you know, not sign up for it, drop it and take it. You're wasting time. Take it next year. You know, you're wasting time. So that's how you pass A&P one. You must study. You can't get around it. You must do your work. You can't get around it. And day and night in your car driving. YouTube videos helps a lot. Find the YouTube video, find the chapters or, or the books that who the, the, the YouTuber is uh, doing a video on. If you have the same book, listen to the breakdown from different people. That helps under that will help you understand it. It, it helped me understand it. And it's helping me now understand it. So I hope this really helps. It's not, you know, any magic. I mean, it's a tons of video on how to pass A and P. The simple thing is you have to study and you can't get around it. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know and I will be happy to get back to you. And I don't make a lot of videos. I do want to, but I don't I don't know what to talk about and I'm so busy. But if you give me something to talk about, I will make a video <laughs> talk to you guys later bye